Dairy farmers are continually focused on improving cow comfort. Canadian researchers have recently developed and validated a new tool which will help farmers assess the well-being of their cows. The tool will help efficiently evaluate cow injuries. Cow injuries can cause cows pain, become a site for infection, affect productivity and create a negative industry image. A team of researchers from the Universities of Guelph, Calgary, British Columbia and Laval conducted a multi-province study examining over 7,000 dairy cows. They found that almost half of the animals had some type of injury on their hock, knee or neck. This information establishes a baseline for the prevalence of injuries on dairy farms in Canada. With this new tool available, farmers can identify and evaluate their animals and take the necessary steps to address any problems through farm management. Before addressing a problem, farmers must be able to accurately evaluate the scope and severity of any injuries. Supported by dairy farmers, a panel of experts including veterinarians and researchers developed a method to consistently document and measure injuries and animal well-being. A set of standard operating procedures, or SOPs, were developed so that farmers can systematically record the conditions of three common sites of injuries on cows, their hocks, knees, and neck. A score is given to each site based on visible signs of hair loss, broken skin, or swelling. Professor Derek Haley of the Department of Population Medicine says routinely recording the conditions of cow hocks, knees, and neck helps farmers identify and address cow comfort issues. Injuries are a welfare issue for dairy cows, first and foremost because it affects how the animals feel. Secondly, it's a health problem for dairy cows. Cuts and scrapes can become infected, and those cuts can be portals for further infection. Recording injuries is really the only accurate way of determining whether things are getting better or getting worse. Some farms are already managing to keep their cows in ways that result in very, very few injuries. Consumers want the reassurance that farmers are taking all reasonable steps to address problems like injuries and ensure the well-being of their animals. And producers are committed to providing top quality care. According to Joe Parkinson, station manager at the Allura Dairy Research Center, raising awareness of injuries is needed. Certainly within the industry, we need to be the front runners in looking after our animals and providing the best environment we can for them. Uh, consumers are getting further and further removed from the primary agriculture, so we need to educate producers to look after their, their cattle in the best way they can, and most producers do a great job of that. And we also need to educate the public that there are some things that happen, and this is why they're happening, and this is the steps that we're taking in as an industry to improve that. Researchers found that bedding is a major factor in ensuring cow comfort and minimizing injuries. But, they stress, there is no single solution that will work for every farm. That said, cost-effective strategies to suit individual needs and lower injury rates are being implemented by dairy farmers like Nathan Becker. Yeah, you're in the barn every day and you notice things and certain things you just kind of keep an eye on. Over the years, we've made changes and at one time we upgraded to like a rubber three quarter inch rubber mat. More recently we put in a, a mattress and it's good too to visit other farms so you kind of know how you compare to others and sometimes you see on things you can do to improve. Different things work for, for different people. Using the SOPs to monitor and record the injury status of dairy cows on a regular basis allows farmers to be proactive in finding a solution that works for them. The tool developed was well received by farmers. 70% of them responded to their assessment by improving their practices. Farmers can also talk to each other, their veterinarian, or other professionals to help them address the problems they've identified on their farm and make improvements. From the University of Guelph, I'm Elena Osborne, reporting for Spark Air.